Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing some of the year's digit method. This is still under the depreciation method. So this is one of the several methods in solving a depreciation problem. So in this video, again, we'll be discussing some, some of the year's digit method. So some of the year's digit method has the formula of DM, which is equivalent to FC minus SB, all over sum of the digits times reverse digit, and the total depreciation of the property is equivalent to FC minus SB all over sum of the digits multiplied by the sum of reverse digits, where sum of the digits is equivalent to the formula L over 2 times L plus 1, where L is the useful life in years, and reverse digit is equivalent to L minus M plus 1, and sum of the reverse digits is equivalent to M over 2 times 2L minus M plus 1. So that is the formula for our sum of the years digit method. So now we'll be discussing um, a few examples for sum of the years digit method. So first we have an asset is purchased for 9,000 pesos. Its estimated life is 10 years after which is is will be sold for 1,000 pesos. Using SOID or some of the year's digit method, find the book value during the third year, find the depreciation during the second year, and find the total depreciation after four years. So now we'll just identify first what are the given values that we have. So FC, or the first cost, is 9,000. We also have the estimated life in years, which is our L is equivalent to 10. We also have our scrap value, which is equivalent to 1,000. So A, we need to find the book value during the third year. So BVM at M is equivalent to 3. So now um, from the from the sum of the year's digit method, um, from the depreciation formula of the book value, we have BVM is equivalent to FC minus DM. But we don't know the value of our DM yet, so we need to solve it using the formula of the um, SOID or sum of the years digit method in which it is given by the formula DM is equivalent to FC minus SP all over sum of the digits. So we have sum of the digits multiplied by the sum of reverse digits. So we have now FC is 9,000 minus 1,000 over sum of the digits is equivalent to the formula L over 2. So we have 10 over 2 times L plus 1. So we have 10 plus 1 multiplied by the sum of the reverse digits. So Sum of the reverse digits is equivalent to the formula M over 2, in which our M here is the third year. So we have 3 over 2 plus, I mean, times 2 times L, which is 10, minus M, which is 3 plus 1. So calculating this, you'll have a result of 3,000. 927.27. So meaning to say that is our DM. So we can already solve for our BVM. So BVM here is equivalent to FC, which is 9,000 minus 3,927.27. So that is equivalent to 5,072. Point seventy three. So this is now our BVM at third year. Next is next problem is we have letter B, which is to find the depreciation during the second year. So we have here B. 
So we need to find our depreciation at M is equivalent to 2. So DM, small letter D, is equivalent to So we now have to plug in the formula or the values that we have. So we have FC is 9,000 minus 1,000 all over some of the digits, which is the same. So we have 10 over 2 multiplied by 10 plus 1. And the reverse of the digit, which is given by the formula L minus M plus 1. So, we have, calculating this one, you will get the result of 1,309.09. This is in pesos. Next item is solving for letter C. So, we have find the total depreciation after four years. So, we will be looking for the DM with, with capital letter D. So, we we'll C. We have dm at m is equivalent to 4. So we have the formula of dm, which is this one. So dm is equivalent to fc, which is 9,000, minus sv, which is 1,000, all over our sum of the digits, which is 10 over 2 times 10 plus 1 and the sum of the reverse digits sum of the reverse digits but m is equal to 4 so we have 4 over 2 times 2 times 10 minus 4 plus 1 so this is our dm calculating this one we have 4945.15 so this is now, this is in pesos. So we now have our total depreciation after four years. So the second example that we have here is the first cost of a machine is 1,800,000. 1, so we have FC is equivalent to 1.8 million with a salvage value of 300,000 pesos. So we have SV is equivalent to 300K. And at the end of its life, at 5 years, so we have L is equivalent to 5. Determine the total depreciation after 3, three years using SOID method. So we are looking for the total depreciation. So we need to find our DM at M is equivalent to 3. So now DM is given by the formula, um, the same as the formula that we used earlier. So we have DM is equivalent to FC minus SV. So we have 1.8 million minus SV, which is 300K. All over our L, we have L over 2. So we have 5 over 2 times 5 plus 1 times our sum of reverse digit which which is 3 over 2 times 2 times our L minus our M which is 3 plus 1. So our DM is equivalent to 1,200,000 pesos. So this is now the depreciation, um, total depreciation after three years. Next example we have here, a machine cost 7,350 pesos, has a life of eight years, and has a salvage value of 350 pesos at the end of eight years. So determine the, its book value at the end of four years using SOID method. So we have FC is equivalent to 7,350 pesos. We have life or useful life in years is 8 and our SV is equivalent to 350 pesos. So we need to find the book value at the end of 4 years. So we have to find our BVM at M is equivalent to 4. So before we find our value of BVM, we need to find first what is the value of our DM. So DM here is equivalent to 
FC, which is 7,350, minus our SB, which is 350, all over our L, which is 8, over 2, times 8 plus 1, multiplied by the sum of reverse digits, we have 4 over 2, times 2, multiplied by 8, minus 4, plus 1. That is equivalent to 5,055.56 pesos. So that is our DM. But what we need to find is the value of our BVM. So substituting that, we have BVM is equivalent to FC, which is 7,350, minus our DM, which is 50,055. 0.56 pesos. So our BVM at four years or at the end of the fourth year is 2,294.44. So this is now our BVM or the book value at the end of four years. So we have the last example. A telephone company purchased a microwave radio equipment for 6 million pesos. Freight and installment charges amounted to 3% of the purchase price. And if the equipment shall be depreciated over a period of 8 years with a salvage value of 5%, determine the, the depreciation charge during the fifth year using the sum of the years digit method. So again, we need to identify what are the the given values that we have. So we have FC is equivalent to 6 million. So I have 6 million plus additional 3% for the freight and installment charges. So meaning to say FC plus 3% of this is equivalent to 6 million 180,000 pesos. So we have 180,000 pesos. So this is our new FC now. Next is we have the salvage value of 5%. So our SV is equivalent to 309,000. And period of 8 years, so we have L is equivalent to 8. We need to determine the depreciation charge during the 5th year, so we are looking for the M at M is equivalent to 5. So we have the M is equivalent to FC, which is 6,180,000 pesos, minus our SB, which is 309,000 all over our sum of the digits, which is equivalent to 8 over 2, multiplied by A plus 1, multiplied by the reverse of the digits, which is 8 minus 5 plus 1. So this is now equivalent to 652,333 pesos point 33 centavos. So this is again in pesos. So this is now our depreciation charge during the fifth year. So those are all the discussion for this video. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you learned something and I'll see you on my next videos. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.